Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Blue version. I am at Nidhi and as always we are rocking the Elite Four. Or as last time, well, anyways. We have defeated uh, three guys, I think. Uh, Lorelei, the Ice type master, Bruno, the fighting type master, fighting slash rock slash ground. Um, Agatha, the ghost type master, and here we have some funny looking guy in a costume. We will have Articuno up front and let's see how we fare. Ah, uh, I heard about you, Andy. I heard the elite, uh, I lead the elite four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know, the dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch in the race, but their powers, their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. Well, are you ready to lose? Your league challenge ends with me. So dragon types are strong, especially in earlier generations due to not having many weaknesses. And uh, Dragonite, as you could have seen or have seen, uh, can learn quite a quite a nice moveset. I mean, it can use electric attack, it can use ice attacks, it can use uh, water attacks, normal attacks. It has quite, I think, fire attacks even. It has quite a... well, you can fill in many roles with them uh, in earlier generations. In later generations you get more weaknesses to them, but uh, they're still quite strong especially their stats are usually quite high so we start off with something that should be handled by something else than Articuno Gyarados Dragon Rage oh well Dragon Rage is a calculated risk uh, I want you to Thunderbolt this Gyarados That worked quite nicely. Four times damage due to water uh, flying type. Dragonair, his own Dragonair. What will I use against Dragonair? Uh, my own Gyarados? Perhaps. With Blizzard. And of course, Gyarados misses. Ah, recurring pattern. <laughs> ah, come on. Yes, thank you. I mean, Dragon Rage at this stage of the game is like nothing. It does nothing. Early game, it's super powerful because it always deals 40 damage, but here, nah. And in this generation, it's the only dragon type move. Uh, what was it? Dragonair. Okay, yeah. Let's try it again. There we go. That should do it. Yes. Thank you. Now, Aerodactyl. Rock flying. What do I have against something like this? Hmm, probably... I could could use my strategy, my uh, poison uh, incapacitate thing. So, toxic, badly poisoned, now wrap. Hurt by poison one. Wrap. Not effective, but it holds the enemy still. And you can see poison starts kicking in. Now since uh, wrap is 
not effective, you can see nicely how poison increases in damage each turn. I mean, look at that. It was a quarter of the health last uh, turn, I think, about. And it would only have increased from there. Uh, we will use Articuno. Battle this Dragonite. And Ice Beam. Not risking to miss with Blizzard. <laughs> there we have it. <laughs> that was Lance. So, Dragon types, if you have Ice type moves in Gen 1, not that hard. If you don't have Ice type moves, they can be a pain because they really. They they are relatively tough and they don't have many weaknesses. That's it. I hate to admit it, but you are a Pokemon master. Okay, we have done it. I still can't believe my dragons lost to you, but Nidhi. You are now the Pokemon League champion. Or... Well, you will be, but uh, that's embarrassing, but uh, <coughs> um, you have one more challenge. You have to face another trainer, because why not? His name is Gary. He has also kicked our asses, and now he is the champion, and you have to defeat the champion to become the champion, kind of. Okay, let's heal up before we face Gary. And I think we are not too bad in the game. What moves or what Pokemon did he have? Oh, it starts already. Uh, well, hey, I was looking forward to seeing you, Nidhi. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on the Pokédex, I looked all over for powerful Pokémon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokémon type. And now, I'm the champion. Anidhi, do you know what that means? Yes, that means I will have to defeat your team once more in order to become gym leader, the flying type gym leader that I always wanted to be in this run. I'll tell you, I am the most powerful trainer in the world. We will see about that, Gary. We will see about that. Gary wants to fight! Pidgeot. Oh, that's a nice matchup. Ice Beam to your face, and that should do some damage, yes, indeed. We have Alakazam, ah, I don't have anything against Psychics. Um, Articuno, you keep going. Ice Beam or Fly, Reflect. Reflect lowers special types, or I don't know. Ah, recover well. Nice. It's a very, very defensive Alakazam here. I usually spec them offensively, offensively because they have high speed and high special stats. Want to take bets if uh, Alakazam heals next turn? Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't even use potions. In newer games they usually use potions when uh, they're that low health. Okay, that went relatively painless. Ride on. Ride on. Uh, was it ground normal ground 
ground alone. Okay, Gyarados, you can handle this. You will use Surf. And Rhydon should not have anything to object. And... Wow, nice. Thank you, Gyarados. Never disappoint. Almost never. <laughs> And we have an Arcanine, well, two guys can handle this, Gyarados or... Oh, well, I guess Charizard with Earthquake can also handle it. Let's give Charizard some action, because against the starter it will not have much to say. Blastoise. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Charizard. You can see why I wanted Earthquake. Earthquake really is a powerhouse of a move. Has always been, will always be, hopefully. <laughs> Executor. Uh, well, why not? Charizard could have also used my Moltres, though. You know what? I will. I will switch out to Moltres, just to get Moltres some action. Ah, full restore. Okay, so we have reset the uh, score. And now let's see which Pokemon really is the stronger on this one-on-one. -on -one. And... Burn. Ah, not Barrage. That always takes so long. Ah. <sighs> Well, three times, okay. Not enough to <laughs> actually get some coffee. <laughs> there we have it, Moltres clearly the victor in this duel. Now, Blastoise, we will use either Zapdos or Dragonite or both. because we haven't used them in this battle yet. So I will use Dragonite to Toxify Blastoise, switch out to... Woo! Blizzard! Ouch! That will hurt. Oh yes. Ah! Okay, I <clears throat> switch out. As I was saying, that was fully planned. <clears throat> and you use thunder. Let's see if that does the trick. If not, poison will finish it off. Ah, that was enough. Okay. And we defeated Gary. No, that can't be. You beat my best. After all that work to become league champ. My reign is over already. Well, no, Gary. I want to become gym leader. You can be the champion. We can be friends. We don't need to be rivals. It's not fair. Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Damn it! You're the new Pokemon League champion. Although, I don't like to admit it. Oh, come on, cheer up. So you won! Congratulations! You're the new Pokemon League champion! You've grown up so much since you first left with Charmander. Anidi, you have come of age! Oh, I have come of age? As far as I know, we have left at with with age 10 so we were eight years on the on the road well okay Gary I am disappointed I came when I heard you beat the elite four but when I got here you had already lost Gary do you understand why you lost you have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with trust and love without them you will never become a champ again 
Hanidi, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokémon is marvelous. Hanidi, come on, come on here. <laughs> Congratulations, Hanidi. This floor is the Pokémon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League Champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Honey, you have endeavored hard to become the new League Champion. Congratulations! Honey, you and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. Woo! Party! Party time! Level 56, Flying Ice Articuno. Level 57, Fire Flying Charizard. Level 57, Water Flying Gyarados. Level 56, Fire Flying Moltres. Level 58, Electric Flying Zapdos. Level 55, Dragon Flying Dragonite. And the trainer at Nidhi. If 96 <laughs> hours of playtime, well, <laughs> not quite. A lot of it was spent speeding up or farming these coins. Um, yeah, basically. I think playtime, I mean, you can look at it. The combined playtime of my videos plus perhaps, I don't know, what did I spend? Perhaps two hours grinding and coins, coin farming. Uh, mind you, with some tools <laughs> to speed things up. You're on the right track. Oh wait. You're on the right track. Get a flash HM from my aid. Uh, that's the one for, for 10... Oh, that's the evaluation of the Pokedex. Uh, for catching 10 you can get HM Flash, which would help navigate the dark tunnels. So yeah, Pokemon Blue version, that's it. Uh, quite a nice game, still, up to this day started the Pokemon franchise and, well, what cannot be good at about that? <laughs> I mean, if you grew up in the 90s and got Pokemon with age 7, 8, like I did, I guess you probably have quite fond memories of that time. And to this day are probably happy with uh, Pokemon, or, well, I am at least. They do not show us all 151 Pokemon here, do they? No. Yeah, lots, lots of people, once more. The end. Okay. Do I have to press something? There we go. Um... Let's see if we can do some post-game stuffs. Okay, we can go back to mom. Hey mom, I'm the champion now, or well, I have fulfilled my dream to become a gym leader. I just have to fill out the application form, send them to the bureaucrats and... 
yeah, you know how this goes. 20 years down the line, I may or may not be gym leader. Admiti, I'm so happy for you! <clears throat> Thanks, Mom. See ya. Okay, so in this version, there isn't that much going on. I think in post game, uh, we can. I think we can challenge the Elite Four over and over again to get money. We can also go. I mean. Legendaries, usually legendaries are the post-game or part of the post-game. Um, we already have three of, well let's say five, one of them you have to get through glitchy mechanics, never got a Mew. Uh, and Mew 2 we can get, basically, let's see. Do I have my ball here? Uh, da -da 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 Ultra Master Ball. Thank you. Uh, the hardest to catch Pokemon in this game is probably Mew 2. And I will show you where to get it. Hopefully. <laughs> so, we have... I have perhaps mentioned it before you have to use a super repel here <laughs> no <laughs> that's not part of it but you're better off if you do because well things and stuff now here you go to the left and down surf around a bit here was blocked by a dude Udes or something. Oh, we can also get an item. What is it? What is it? Ah, come on! <laughs> ah, mushroom Pokemon. You do realize that I'm the champion, don't you? Okay. No oh, level 31. Oh no, I'm doomed. Ice beam. <laughs> Yeah, well, usually I am more of a psychic type trainer. I like psychic types in Pokemon, but uh, in this playthrough I wanted to play something that was not a gym already in this version and not an Elite Four guy and had enough Pokemon to form a reasonable team. I mean, you could uh, do, well, basically Lorelei, no, Agatha is ghost type, but there is like one line of ghost Pokemon in this version, and well, that's it, just for this fight, all this way, ah, come on. Um, yeah, basically, uh, not many ghost types, uh, not many bug types and not too strong. I was surprised that there are so few bug types. It's like, I mean, apart from only uh, Caterpie being catchable, or was it Weedle? Well, only one of them is catchable in each re uh, version, blue or red, and you would have to trade. So that will make two, but then you only have like Scyther and Paras, Parasect. Good, good point to show off the uh, Pokédex. So we have Butterfree would be one. Uh, Beedrill, obviously. No, 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 no. We haven't seen Cliffable. All right. Um, Nine tails. Uh, no, 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 no. 
this one would also be one, I think. Uh, Venomoth, probably also. So we're at four. Um, okay, well, you would get kind of a neat team, but uh, I would have had to cheat since I cannot trade. And, well, bug types are... I would have done it. I have considered uh, doing a bug type run, but once I saw the moves, the, the bug type moves and everything, well, <laughs> I was turned off a bit. It's like terrible moves and bug type moves, although they would be like super effective against psychic types, I think, there are just no bug type moves that deal damage in this version. So, yeah, we have seen quite a few, 132, we haven't seen a Krabby, or what was it called in English, uh, we haven't seen a Golem, and you can see here we don't have many bug types. Uh, what's here? I don't know. Electabuzz? Possibly. Yeah, well. Anyways. You can see, um... We have seen quite a few. Can we surf here? Is there current or something? No. Okay, uh, I don't know where uh, Mewtwo hides exactly. We have read about Mewtwo, haven't we? The one that was created by supposedly Team Rocket Scientists. Uh, it broke free destroyed the mansion down there and hides here. And Mewtwo is one of my all-time favorite Pokemon because it's it's just cool. Psychic type. Rather strong. Oh, I should have remembered where these lead. Item. So I have no idea where I'm going. Don't expect me to find Mewtwo anytime soon. <laughs> um, Alright. Uh, we have a ladder down. I think down is good. Hopefully. Um, what? Oh, man. They are... Oh, okay, I should should put a stronger Pokemon up front. You can see, uh, nice to show that off as well. Uh, if Pokemon in the environment are stronger than your leading Pokemon, they will pop up, although you have Repel. What is my strongest Pokemon like? 57, 58, Zapdos. <laughs> The least suited for fighting in 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 the caves. <laughs> okay, we have another item. Max revive, nice. Quite a few nice items here. Chansey, but wow, level 64. Okay, if you want to train, go here. <laughs> but you can only access it after Elite Four, I think. And basically I should run. Because I don't want to waste time. That's sick. I mean, I'm strong and all. But they still come at me. Uh, repel. 
Let's guess uh, my repel will run out before I'm done. Oh, come on! Oh, Tito! We haven't seen one of these before, have we? Not sure. Ultra Ball. <laughs> Gyarados Surf. I hope I'm on the right way. It's a huge, huge uh, branch I'm taking here. Okay. We have... no, not item. Ah. There we have it, I think. That should be Mewtwo. And Mewtwo, as I said, I kind of like it. It's the uh, strongest Pokémon in this generation. You have to catch it at level 70, but you got the Master Ball, luckily. So that should work. I think the Master Ball is used for, for Mewtwo, or intended for Mewtwo. Mewtwo has the lowest catch rate. So, Mewtwo, a clone. It was created by a scientist or scientists, Team Rocket, after years of horrific gene splicing and DNA engineering experiments. No, no nickname. So yeah, I think that's all pretty much you can do outside of battling your friends, if you have any, uh, in this version. So I think that concludes the let's play of Pokemon Blue version. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have any remarks, suggestions, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments and hope to see you on the next project. Hope you have enjoyed, have a nice day and goodbye.